hey guys welcome to my youtube channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button i'm so glad that you have tuned in so i've been asked to do changes in ownership i'm going to attempt to do an example where our parent purchases an additional 10 percent interest in sub and i'm going to make that right in between in the middle of the year um, so that it's actually going to be 1 July 2019 and if I've got enough time I'll do a either disposal of entire interest in the sub probably disposal of entire interest in the sub yeah I think I'll do that if I've got time depending on how long this example goes so my example is just going to be like let me just write it down so that it's easier so P purchases an additional 10% interest on the 1st of July 2019 so that's right in the middle of our year um, I can't I'm not gonna draw a timeline now but I always draw a timeline in practice um, because then it's much easier to actually know that so what happened during my current year is that right in the middle um our parent purchased an additional 10 percent interest in the sub and that means that the first six months they had 80 percent and then for the last six months they had 90 percent so this is why i prefer to use the analysis method so right next to this analysis let's just um create no that's not what i want to do <laughs> um I just want to push this these journals aside so that I can do the analysis for our purchase of additional interest right next to this analysis. Right. So remember this is still total at NCI and no not NCI since sorry my bad and this is in CI so the first part of our analysis is not going to change the at acquisition because remember in my previous example if you're not caught up with it I'm going to leave the link um, in the description box or you can just pause and just read through the example um, which is on this word document you can just pause and read all of this yeah that was or you can just watch the previous video i will leave the link to it in the description box so like i said this at acquisition is not going to change so there's no need for us to repeat this i hope it doesn't there we go so it's still share capital retained earnings i'm just gonna write it again in short and this was nci at fair value this was our goodwill let's just make this long so that it's more neat there we go um and then this was our investment the since acquisition part also is not going to change so we can write here since acquisition retained earnings right i did all of these things and explained them in the previous um video and then in our current year is where the changes took place now our analysis starts to change because they've bought an additional um 10 percent it is quite important to note that this is going to move from 80 percent to 90 percent however your non-controlling interest is going to move from 20 percent right and it's going to become 10 percent 
so what normally happens when um you purchase a, when they when the parent purchases additional interest is that it actually comes from non-controlling interest the parent actually purchases from the non-controlling interest so before we go to that step you have to say um let me just insert cells here so that the stuff right there does not confuse us right um in the current year they made profit of a hundred and fourteen thousand so before we um split before we take into consideration their purchase of additional interest this profit for the year first needs we first need to stand at the point in time where we purchased the 10 the additional 10 percent and that's right in the middle of the year meaning that from beginning of the year to be middle of the year there was half of the profit made so this current year profit for the year In the previous example, it was actually um, 120,000, I believe. So it becomes 120,000 Rand. Um, divided by two. We almost made a mistake there. I'm supposed to take the 114,000 divided by 2 and that's how we split our profit. Because remember, during the year we had an intergroup um, inter um, transaction, the inventory that was being sold between P and S and um, that affects profit for the year for the entire year so you have to split because that is yeah that's the at the end of the day 114,000 is the profit for the year and we're splitting it into two because we need to stand at the point in time which they purchase the additional interest and then at this point in time they still have 80 percent so it's going to be equals that times 0.8 and that's that and then remember the NCI is always equal to um, this total less the sins or you could always take the total and multiply it by 20 percent then in order to continue and actually perform this addition purchase of additional interest um, let's total up the NCI column. The NCI column is 40,000, right? Because 40,000 is basically this 30,000 plus the 10,000, um, which was to bring our NCI at fair value, plus this 10, plus this 11,400. So I'm just going to say equals sum. And then that is the total. So at the point where, so when the, when the parent purchases additional interest, all that I do is I stand in this at acquisition point and I say equals this NCI, which represents 20% and I times it by 10% because I want to see how much is 10% actually worth. 10% is actually worth 30,700. So we say acquisition of 10%. And then let's assume they purchased this 10% for 35,000 Rand. And then this will be investment. Thirty-five thousand rand, and this will be our change in ownership reserve. Since this one looks like goodwill, 
it's going to be a negative reserve. And if it looks like bargain purchase, it's a positive reserve. So if that is done, you carry on with the rest of the year. And the profit will also be 57,000 Rand. However, it's important to remember that now we are holding 90%. So it's quite easy to forget these minor things. Times not 0.9, sorry guys. And then this will be equal to this. Less that. It's quite, it's not that bad and then we do our dividends the rest is now the same as my other example but also again the dividends will change because now we're holding um 90 and not 80 percent because the dividends were declared by the sub at year end so we can just say equals this times 0 0.9 and this will be negative 2000 so now let's do our statement of changes in equity i'm literally just going to use this one guys and i'm just going to put a changes in ownership reserve okay it's not letting me there we go and then all you do is add a separate line that says purchase of additional uh, yeah, acquisition of additional interest And you put it under the changes in ownership as a negative reserve and it is this goodwill that we calculated in our analysis which is um it was right here sorry guys it is 4300 let me just make this look neater i need borders here it's gonna make it all borders <laughs> There we go. And borders here as well. And then it's quite important to realize that non controlling interest actually decreased by thirty thousand seven hundred. Because this 30,700 came out of non controlling interest and it affects your consolidated statement of changes in equity. So you have here minus 30,700. Let me just highlight that in case you're not following. No man. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Let me just highlight this. Is that 30,700? I don't want yellow. I want a different color. There we go. I'm not such a good person when it comes to technology. So, this acquisition of 10%, we acquired it from NCI and here it is it is also quite the, it's also the same thing as taking your total interest i believe and but i prefer to just purchase from nci i think you're less likely to make a mistake if you do that but there is another method just putting it out there let me show you guys how the journal will look i don't think i'm gonna do a um, disposal of entire interest in the sub anymore because then this video is going to be too long and I don't want to create videos that are too long because people don't really have long concentration spans anyway <laughs> so um, our journal let's put debit here credit here 
so it's quite simple all you need to do in your journal is sort of like capture what happened nci is a credit balance so we need to debit our nci with the 30,700 and then we need to credit our investment which increased remember the parent purchased um further interest for 35,000 rand and he would have debited doing i was just busy doing my journal it's just a three-legged journal and we're going to debit our change in ownership reserve with the difference which is 4300 so this is the journal that's how the statement of changes in equity looks and this is about it it's i've reached the end of this um topic